episode, we'll be taking the ferry from Puerto Rico to Puerto de Magán. We'll be looking around the market, which happens on a Friday, and we'll also look at the beach and the town. everyone so today we are going to get the ferry round to Magan. so what's on in Magan today there's a market so we're going to go there we're going to show you around what the market's like apparently it's good for picking up souvenirs and all this kind of stuff then we're going to show you around the old town as well which is meant to be really pretty so we're just going to get the ferry we'll show you where to get it from so let's get going Just busy walking down now, get the ferry. It's about a 10 15 minute walk from where we're staying at the Monteverdi. So, if you're at the bus stop, Angry Birds Adventure Playground, you just walk down towards the beach uh, along the where the port is. And the ferry tickets themselves cost 13 euro each return. I think it takes about 15 20 minutes on the ferry, just goes up the coast past Amadore, is where we've been. But we got our tickets free yesterday. Well, that's another story we'll, we'll tell you about um, later on. So anyway, we're getting these tickets for free today, which is good for us. So you see all the boats, and it's towards the walk up to Amadores, and then you'll just turn left, and there's a big sign that says ferry, but we'll, we'll show you when we get there. This is where you walk up to Amadores Beach. So literally where you want to go is this way. And then you see like a little red lighthouse at the end of the pier. There's a big sign there saying ferries to Magan. So you just walk around there and that's where you grab it. Lady. There you have your tickets, lady. Remember, for the way back, this is the last one. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, how we got these tickets for free was. Um, we ended up getting roped into some timeshare visit yesterday. So there's a guy on the <coughs> on the front here, the beach. I thought he was doing excursions because we're looking for the whale and dolphin tour. And he started talking about this place called Anfi. Um, so I ended up just getting bundled in a taxi, pretty much without <laughs> saying we're not going or anything like that. Um, but to be fair, we've got these tickets free. Um, we've, got uh, we've got two bottles, bottles of wine, wine and we've got three sunbeds down at Anfi and to be fair the resort was absolutely stunning um, but again it's, it's just a bit of a ploy you've got to spend 90 minutes down there um, and basically well, we, just, didn't. we didn't yeah I think we were there about 45 minutes because the guy you, you could tell we weren't gonna be roped into it but I mean the apartments there were absolutely stunning weren't they um, 
We've been offered a holder there next year for 990 euros for a week. That's for four people as well, so it's, it's pretty good and we have been considering it. But never mind, um, this is the ferry to Magan anyway. Probably takes about 15 20 minutes, so we'll see you when you get there. Do something. Tell a joke. Ooh, it's nice down there. Water's lovely and clear. Huge fish there. Where? Oh yeah. <laughs> Where? The one that's the one that's huge. Looks like a shark. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite that big, Jackie. The Morgan is. Uh, it's referred to as the the Venice of the Canaries because in the town there's canals and stuff around. Around the harbour here you've got loads of bars and restaurants which are quite popular. Um, you also see when you're here the buildings aren't allowed to be over two storeys high. Something the government's put in place probably to keep the place pretty. Um, the market's every Friday which is the reason we've come and apparently that's popular so there's people come from all over the island uh, to visit the market on a Friday and I think it runs till about two or three in the afternoon. We've come early, I think it starts at 9 o'clock and it's on at about 3 or 4 o'clock. It's at 3 o'clock. Okay, so we're going to have a look around, we'll show you around the harbour here. As well as the market, there's also designer shops here and some of the little streets. So after we've been to the market and shown you around there, we'll show you around some of the, the streets because it looks really pretty. Um, and we'll show you some of the shops kind of discounts have got because apparently it's cheaper for the clothes here, yeah, it's all designer stuff and it's meant to be cheaper than the UK so it might be worth a look around. So definitely plenty of choice restaurants if you wanted to stop for some food So you've got to walk around the harbour here and then you come back around and it looks like the market's on the other side of the harbour where you come in. This is the first signs of the Venice of the Canaries. Mm. So yes, all the this is what the canals are like. Although I suspect the water's probably a bit clearer than um 
what it would be like in Venice for some reason. I don't know why I'm thinking that. So this is the start of the market. Uh, probably about a probably about a 15 minute walk around from the boat. Would you say 15 minutes? But yeah, you can see the sell. First things are t-shirts. You see, probably fake ones. Three for eighteen. I could do with some new t-shirts, Jack. English. 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 Oh, for itching. Face for body for everything. After sun, sunburn, because it heat, it dries, it bites, all it is for everything the same color. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. That's the lovely. Lovely. Thank you. Something for the lady. Stone. So yeah, it's a lot of clothes, leather products, just loads of like kind of souvenirs, hats, bits for the house. One thing's for certain, it's bloody hot. Absolutely sweating. It's quite busy as well. <laughs> so yeah, it's um that's quite big actually, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So it stretches round, it kind of goes back towards the town when you get down to the main part of the harbour and then you walk around and it comes back into the town. But um, yeah, it's, it's really busy. I think there's, there might be a bit more up here as well. So it looks like this is the end of the market. It's just kind of one big street going into the harbour. So the end of it, there's a place here called Supermercado Venezia and then behind it looks like there's some kind of beach over here, so we'll go and have a look over there. come across a little bridge there and then you've got a beach which I didn't even know that had a beach yet no now we may have brought our towels but um, yeah, it's, it's a decent sized beach probably similar to probably a bit smaller than the one in Puerto Rico so here you've got some more bars and restaurants they all just kind of littered around up here and it looks like actually there's a bit more going straight up so this is all along the beach front here just another load of bars and restaurants there's absolutely stacks of choice I didn't think I'd be as much but uh, no, there's, there's a lot here there's a lot you see the beach looks okay just on the right here quite calm waters so it looks a nice colour very tempting right now Stopping for a quick drink because it's absolutely boiling out there and Jackie's getting annoyed. Hola. Hola. Because you've had no food and you haven't had a beer and it's uh, funny. Is this right? when the menu more just uh, for menu. some drinks? Menu, yeah? Menu. Yeah, we'll have a look. So 
salut! So just stop for a little snack. Chatty got ham and mushroom omelette, which was what seven seven euros ninety five. Now I just got ham and cheese toasty, which was four four ninety. I think it was four ninety. So we're gonna use to try and see what like. Oh, I should hope it is hot. I'm gonna burn my mouth. I should hope it is hot. I'd be worried if it was cold. I know, but you're wanting us to do it. Oh, stop whinging. <laughs> mm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice omelette. Nice omelette. Try your chip, eh? Try your chip. Chips are chips according to you. Yeah. Balsamic vinegar. Oh, that's quite nice. <laughs> I thought chips were just chips, Jack. Yeah, I like cooked it, you know, like how. Um, a bit like um, Burger King fries. No, oh, okay. Like they're totally different in my dog. Okay, so it's actually like a cooked sandwich. Quite big. It's like the butter, the bread and toast in it. Mm. Right. Mm. I definitely see what you mean about the chips though. Like. Oh, proper crispy on there like, on the outside. And fluffy. That's alright. Does the job. Just what I need is. I've only got one car. So we've been fed and watered, we'll have a look around some of the village now. So just having a little walk through, through the town, looks like there's another a little bit of market, a bit further through. So just off the beach you come through and uh, we're just seeing this here. So we're gonna have a look and see what there is up this bit. So yeah, it looks like this is like, there's more kind of market stalls along here, which is more kind of into the center of Morgan. So we'll have a quick look and see, yeah, we'll have a look up and see what kind of stuff's on offer. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be similar to what was in the, other part before but we'll have a look through so as you can see this one's got quite a few restaurants and bars as well and then you've got all your your little gifts and stuff more t-shirts yeah they all seem to be about the same prices on all those different stalls you can get your sunglasses wallets purses watches What's this? It's like essence stuff. What do you call them? Thingy sticks? Incense dye, not essence. Incense sticks. Oh, bloody stink. Didn't even smell that nice. Busy. It's obviously time's ticking on a bit. It's lunchtime now, so there's a load of boats coming in all the time. And it's uh, it's it's built up. It's quite busy now. The streets are a bit tight around here, so when it's busy, it's hard to squash past. You've got people walking in front of you all the time. So if you get annoyed easy like Jackie, you <laughs> you're gonna have a great time. So some of the stalls have got prices on, 
others haven't. So I presume the ones that haven't, you'll be able to barter for the stuff. Because all the t-shirts and stuff have got a set price on. So just keep an eye out. A lot of them take card and stuff as well, so if you haven't got any cash with you, it's, it's easy enough to, to pay for that. So we've been walking for about 15 minutes on this new boot phone. We didn't even know this was here, but it's going on for absolutely ages and I can't even see an end of it. It's it just keeps going and going. So it's an absolutely huge market. It's like a wind tunnel, isn't it? Yeah, I'll just stay here Oh, it's nice to cool off. Oh the heat is just something else, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So you start because getting a bit. It's a sort of busy as well. Yeah, we're walking in the end. Yeah, you get quite annoyed. It's very samey, samey though. So oh yeah, all, don't the, need to all walk the stalls are. Too far. You see, kind of the same stuff. Every sort of five, six stalls. I mean, it is a huge market, and I can see probably why people come. But I would probably say if you're going to come, get here first thing. So we've come at ten o'clock. We've got the ferry at ten. It takes about half an hour. We're walking through there, obviously we've stopped for food. Might have been better off seeing the market then going for food. But if you come at nine o'clock, it's probably a bit quieter. Whereas like now, it's just absolutely rammed, isn't it? And what time's it now? It's just after 10 to one in the afternoon now. So it's, it is getting really, really busy. But like I say, if you're looking for a bargain or some fake goods, because there's loads of fake goods. Just heard somebody having an argument about fake trainers. Um, they were Nike trainers and she said she made them and the old woman was arguing with her about them but um, yeah it's it's really busy so if you're not in like busy places I, I wouldn't bother coming or come early or come early yeah but I mean there's nothing I've seen but Jackie's seen a couple of things she, she might get but uh, it's worth a look anyway so there's not really that much in that shopping centre it's just a really small place but it was a nice little break from this market um, just to get away from those crowds and just to get a bit of cool air <laughs> we might actually yes finally reach the end here so as you get that there's a, a super dino supermarket it looks like that's the end of the stalls there which is just up there and it looks like there's a taxi rank there some book some woman started chasing jackie down the street I should look at a, what was it like a beach, what are they called? It's like a throw. Like a throw for the beach, like a blanket type thing. And she said it was 20 euros and then all of a sudden it was 12. And then started chasing Jatty up the street. <laughs> and Jatty just ignored her. Let's tackle these crowds again. The bacteria is cotton, eh? 100%. All right, you look. Nice, eh? Oh, I just got a Good size, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll take that okay. one, yeah, thank Maybe. you. <laughs> one euro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you happy now? Yeah. After you're flustered in the market. <laughs> it's too hot. If you're arriving by bus, there's a bus station right next to the market. So the market's just here and then the bus station's just behind it. So just another option if you don't want to take boat or you're not very good on boats, you can get the bus in. Sorry. <laughs> I'll just get this one. Mm -hmm. Just the one. Have that one. This one? Yeah. So that's the market. Yes, it's getting a bit. Um, it's just too hot. There's people in the way. Getting a bit flustered and pissed off. So might have to get another drink. Um, this is the town anyway, so yeah, you've got the raw shops, there's quite a few designer shops that cost. Um, some other market stalls over there. Looks like a few restaurants and stuff around, so it's it's quite a nice town. It's just so hot today, it's, it's unbelievable. But we're going to head back <laughs> towards the port anyway. Um, so, yeah. Well, that's the market anyway. Um, very busy. 
very hot today so make sure you bring plenty of sun sun cream and come when you're not tired or pissed off because <laughs> you'll get even more pissed off pissed off pissed off so we're just walking back towards the ferry now so we're going through all these lovely colorful buildings here a look at these show you what it's like because this is a nice part this is all around sort of the, the harbour area and it's really nice all the little streets are lovely around here and this is just off the beach and just in the port so That's a bit more like it. It's not so busy through there and it's nice and peaceful. It's still hot though, but now we're down near the, the beach area, the, the port, it's uh, there's a tiny bit breeze which is pretty fresh. But looks lovely, all these little streets are really nice. Even if you don't want to come on a market day, you can get the ferry every day and it runs like every hour or so. So come along and have a look around, spend some time at the beach. Um, this area is lovely around here, so it's worth coming just for this bit. I mean, we've seen the market now, I don't know if I would come back to the market. Unless you knew there was something you wanted in particular, but like we've said, it's, it's all pretty samey stuff. Like I say, it's, it's nice enough, just the market's really busy. It's red hot today as well, which hasn't helped. And just got a bit flustered really, didn't we, at the end. Um, people pushing in the inn, pushing past. But never mind. Hope you've enjoyed it. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Drop us a subscribe and leave any comments. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, so we've arrived in Terror. Let's see what this corn's like. This beach actually reminds us of a beach on the Costa del Sol. We're in Mas Palomas.